Good morning. It's another day in the studio. Are you ready? I'm ready. A couple of days ago, I was talking to you about a collage slash abstract painting that I was working on. We did the first step. I'm going to link the video here if you missed it. Let me show you what it looks like. So this is the base of the painting that I want to work on today. I'm using a canvas board. It's a 10 by 10. As you saw in the video, these are all the bits of paper that I glued, that I glued onto the canvas board. As I mentioned, my theme is musical instruments, musicians. And yesterday, David and I did a couple photos for reference that I'm going to base myself for this art project. And now I'm at this, the part where I'm deciding which one I'm going to, to do basically, or to attempt doing. I don't know how it works for you, but whenever I start a project, I never know how it's gonna turn out. And I'm not at the point where I know for a fact what to do to get a successful painting at the end. It's always like, I do five or 10 or 15, and then on the lot, there's a couple, one, two, zero, three, <laughs> that kind of work for me. So it's always kind of a hit and miss. Maybe it's just lack of experience in a specific medium, or maybe it's just like, that's how it works, you know? I don't know. If you're a pro, let me know. Does it work every time for you? I think at some point you could get some kind of shtick or a recipe where like, if you explore a specific medium slash style and you kind of go through the same kind of steps to get a specific effect, you can vary your subject matter, but always keep kind of doing the same thing and then you get a more consistent result. I'm pretty sure that's how you would get a consistent result. Unfortunately, I'm kind of an explorer, so I constantly try something new. So I discover really great things, but there's a lot of misses. And I think the misses are good as well, because I don't know, it, it does, I'm not gonna go into it too much, but like, I feel like you learn a lot from things that you don't want or don't like or yeah it's getting very spiritual and deep let's just stick to this piece <laughs> so let me show you the reference images that i have as possibilities so this is one possibility is another i have a couple guitars and i have the trumpet Honestly, I don't know what to pick. The trumpet is very attractive to me, but also I'm kind of intimidated for some reason with it. I think it's because I have wanted to do it for a while. I'm not gonna do the trumpet today. It's too, it's too intimidating for me for some reason. I don't know, there's no reason, but I'm not doing that today. So it's gonna be between the piano and the guitar. I'm not sure which one to do. I'll just pick one and if this one doesn't really work out, I'm gonna try with the other reference image at some other point. So now I have to sketch. Let's sketch. Okay, so I'm having a lot of trouble deciding what reference image I want to draw. So as a shortcut, I'm doing some tracing of the ones that I'm interested in. So I've done a couple so far. I've done this one and this one. And by tracing it, it's a shortcut for me to see what a, a line sketch without any shading or colors would look like because an image could be very interesting by itself but when you translate it to just lines it could the composition could look flat or not as interesting without the shading and because this is a collage it's going to be like a flat surface of one 
color I want to pick the right composition. So that's my shortcut. I'm going to trace this one last one. And from there, I will choose one and sketch. Sketch it on a big, well, on my finished format, which is 10 by 10. All right, so the last tracing will begin. I have traced all three possibilities. Let's take a look at them and let me walk you through my thought process. So, number one, number two, number three. I feel like this one is the simplest one to execute because there's less lines in the musical instrument and it would be easier to cut out and to execute. If I try imagining it overlaid on top of this and deciding what to cut out, like I could see that the hand would cover this portion here and the guitar would cover this portion and I could cut out some bits within to let some stuff peek through. So I'm trying to really imagine what which parts I would cut out to to let it peek through so I would probably cut this part out here and maybe the inside of the sound hole here so some of this bit would peek through some of this would peek through and then there would be this edge here so this green but I feel like a lot of the interesting bits like this is interesting to me would not really show up much like this whole thing, so I'm not sure. And if I look at all three drawings, visually, to me, this is the most interesting one. I like the perspective and without any shading, it's interesting. I feel like compared to this one, so compared to this one, I feel like this one is more dynamic. But if I think of overlaying it on here, so if I look at this one, so the hand would show up here as um, like a white overlay. And then all this would basically show, like whatever you see here would show up here under as a background. And the white notes would show as white as well. And the black notes, pop, 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 would be open. So I feel like this could be a good possibility because you would see this red bit here. You would see some of it in between fingers. You would see the aqua bit up top and some random dark stuff would pop here. I think that could be a possibility. And this here, the hand would cover this red bit, which I really love, but that's part of life. So the hand would cover this and this would peek through. The black notes would show up here because I would like cut out all the black notes up here. And then the white notes would show up here. I feel like in this composition, it would not work as well with the background that I have here. It's hard to explain, but even if it's the better drawing, I'm afraid it might not be. I'm not seeing it right now. Maybe I could make it work with some other like background, abstract background collage. But right now I'm not really, I'm not seeing it. It's not coming to me. So it's going to be between the guitar and the other piano thing. The guitar is the easier one. The piano one is a lot more tricky. I think I'm going to try sketching the piano one in the right format, see how it comes out. I've cut out some good quality acid-free paper here, the right size for my overlay. I'm going to sketch this 
all here and see what it looks like. Wish me luck. literally to sit on my drawing like I'm done can you stop now <laughs> you want to go play outside you don't like the drawing takes away all the cool old times yeah <laughs> okay I did the whole contour drawing with pencil so this was my tracing this is my reference image and this is my drawing here so it's very important for me to determine what parts of the drawing will be overlapped on the collage and will stay white, like the white of the paper, and what part will be cut out of this drawing so that whatever I put on the collage will peek through. So all the black notes, I'm thinking, will be the collage peeking through. I'm thinking that the white notes, as well as the hand, will be white so everything that's white would be the white of the paper with some line drawing as well as the hand everything else background and black notes will be the collage that's what i'm trying to do okay so my next step is to take another piece of paper same size and to retrace this final drawing let me explain why that new drawing that i will make will be the one that I will cut out. So I will keep some white and I will cut out some pieces, which will be the final thing that I glue on top of my collage, like the final piece of collage. And I will do some line drawing there at the very, very end and add maybe some texture. The reason I'm tracing over it and I'm not using this one is because one, I don't want the lines that I that you saw on this drawing to show up that way for the final collage. I want it to be more minimal. This is like a sketch and it's kind of all messy. But also if I mess up cutting out pieces that I shouldn't have or that I change my mind later on, I will have that original drawing to go back to, retrace and recut out. You know what I mean? So this is kind of like a safety measure to keep that drawing intact but also because I don't want all those lines like the bold black lines to show up all over the final collage I want it to be just a little bit different I'm ready to start the cutout. Let's do just a quick recap of what I've done so far. By using old wrapping papers and magazine cutouts, I just put a random kind of gradient effect of uh, collage on a canvas board. Then I did a photo shoot with a theme with the same ratio, which is a square. Then I 
did a tracing of different possibilities trying to imagine them overlaid on my final piece of work i did i landed on this image i used some reference lines it's kind of like a quick grid like separated in half and then a big x here and in the fourth section i do another x so that it helps me like reference for proportion so i did my final sketch in the right size and i finally traced my final sketch with like a very light hand and this is the piece that i will cut out and overlay on top of this if i mess up i can retrace another one because this is my master that i will keep just in case on to the final collage Okay, I brought the piece far enough for me to feel like I have to step back and re like kind of think about where I want to go next. First of all, uh, the matte medium, the thing that I use for gluing needs to fully dry before I can go in and do some more stuff. Let me show you where I am. I would say that this is 80% of the way done. I have a few options from here. This hopefully will dry and not show up, but it might stay like this. So I could shade in the hand with some charcoal and have a heavier contour line. I could also use some watercolor to kind of give it a light yellow wash to make it pop and keep the white piano notes really white. I want to do a heavy contour line for the piano notes. I'll probably do that with a very dark charcoal. And my conundrum right now is the black notes. These are all the black notes. So I kept the cutouts of the black notes. So I might like re-glue them but leaving some gaps like this to just like get that 3D effect. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it but like that could be an option. Or somehow um, like cut, do more cut out on them and re-put them. I could also use a white pen and outline the white notes as a, like a negative image. I could also just put the highlights like here to suggest them. I'm just not sure what to do with the black notes here. So that's my area of indecision right now. I'm pretty sure I'm going to add a little bit of color or shading to the hand and I know I want a heavy contour on the white notes. I have to think of what I'm going to do with the black notes. So this is what it looks like for now. I had every intention to finish this today but it just didn't go that way. I will finish it tomorrow so stay tuned for part two. I'll see you tomorrow.